Please subscribe mad.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the uh, parts of the common logarithm that what what are the two parts of the common logarithm and what we call them and how you can find the common logarithm by using the log table as you have already seen that you can find the common log by using the log button on the calculator directly but how you can find that by using a, a logarithm table first of all we will revise the common logarithm concept as that it can be written as we can write it mathematically as log with the base 10 and you have to find of 4.02 this is the number okay if you use the calculator you can find the value of the common log 4.02 it means how many times you have to multiply 10 to get 4.02 but you will get directly by through by using the calculator you will get 0 0.6042 okay so this is the answer of finding the common logarithm of 4.02 but if you will be asked to find the logarithm by using the log table we will we will see it later but currently we will see what are the parts of the common logarithm by looking at this answer you can say that there are two parts of the common logarithm what are those? Let's see. This part of the logarithm is called as decimal part. Okay? And the part before the decimal is called integral part. And, and we call the integral part as the characteristic. This is the word that we used for integral part of the common logarithm. It means the part of the common logarithm that is before the decimal point is the characteristic. And the part after the decimal point is called mantissa okay now let's see how you can calculate these uh, two parts by means of the log table so that you can easily find the common logarithm by using the log table other than by using the calculator okay the characteristic can be found by visual inspection we will see it later how you can find it by visual inspection okay and how you can calculate the mantissa part? The mantissa part of the common logarithm can be calculated by using the log table. By using the log table of common logarithm. We will also see this how we can do that after this. By using an example. So this is the short intro of the about the uh, basic concept of common logarithm. And the parts of the common logarithm. One is called the characteristic that is before the decimal point and the part that is after the decimal point is the mantissa. Characteristic can be calculated by visual inspection and the mantissa can be calculated by the log table. Now one more thing. The characteristic can be positive or negative. Let's see how. When you find the characteristic you will see that for numbers greater than 1 it will be positive. Okay. And the for, for numbers less than 1 it will be negative okay this is for the characteristic but mantissa will always be positive so by combining characteristic and mantissa you will get the common log of the given value it means the characteristic can be positive or negative while the mantissa is always positive okay? so let's see how you can find the characteristic and mantissa for so that you can find the lo common logarithm without using the calculator okay First of all, we will see how to find the characteristic. We can find the characteristic by visual inspection. But how? It's very easy. Characteristic is basically the first part of the common log of any given number. Okay. So, for, for characteristic, the, what you have to do? If you are given with a number like 4.02, then you will be asked to find its characteristic. For that purpose, you have to first convert in scientific notation form. We have already seen in our previous lecture how you can find the scientific notation of a any given number. So for this purpose, uh, it is clear from here that it is in, uh, in a form that we need not to move this decimal point anywhere. So we can write it, it in scientific notation form as 4.02 into 10 raised to power 0. As we have not moved the decimal point, that's why the power of the 10 is 0. Okay, so 
After converting the given number into scientific notation, so in step 1 we have converted the given number into scientific notation form. Step number 2 is you have to find its characteristic. But how? By inspection. Let's see. Keep in your mind that we are going to find the first part of the common logarithm. Okay. That is called the characteristic. Okay. You are given with the scientific notation. Our first step was to convert the given number into scientific notation. After that, you have to find the characteristic through this scientific notation. So, the characteristic is basically this power of the 10 in finding the scientific notation. This means we can say that the characteristic here is 0 equal to 0. Okay. So, if the power of the scientific notation will be 1, it will be 1. If it's 2, it will be 2. And if it's minus 1, it will be minus. The characteristic will be minus 1. If the power of the 10 in scientific notation is minus 4, the characteristic will be minus 4. It means it all depends on the power of 10 of the scientific notation. So, this is all for find how you can find the characteristic of any given number by inspection method. Then, uh, next step is how to find the mantissa. This is the integral part that we have found and now we are going to find the decimal part that is called the mantissa. How to find the mantissa? Mantissa is basically the decimal part of the common logarithm. Okay? Now, for finding the mantissa, you have to use what? You have to use a log table. Okay? Use log table. I will show you a way, uh, how it looks like and how you can find the uh, logarithm by using the log table. So, you have to use the log table. Step 1 is finding the mantissa, you have to forget about the decimal point in the given number. So, step 1 for finding the mantissa or the second part or the decimal part of the common logarithm is to specify the number, uh, the, num uh, the row the or, or the column in the table. Let's, uh, let's say we, uh, as we have already find the characteristic of 4.02, we have to find the mantissa of the same number as we will write the number the number was 4.02. While finding the mantissa, keep in mind that we forget about the uh, decimal point. Okay. So, whenever you look for the, for, for the common logarithm in the table, you have to specify the row and the column in order to find the log of, common log of the given number. So, here, the all, keep, always keep in mind, these first two digits are the row of the table, row of log table, okay. And this part is the column of or the column number of log table, okay. Keep one thing in mind that uh, the number of digits for finding the, uh, for finding the common log in the table must be 4 or less than 4, okay. Must be 4 or less than 4. Less than 4 means it must be 3 so that you can specify row or column, okay. So, um, the number of digits for finding the common log must be 3 or 4 so that you can easily find the log by using the num row number and the column. So, this is this is the first two digits represent the row and the next digit represents the column. Okay. So, by keeping this in mind, let's use the log table. Step 2 is first you have to find row in lo log table. Let's see how you can find this row 40. Which row? Row number let me show you the log table. So, let's find the row in the common log table. So, this is a common log table that, that we came across in order to find the log of the given, um, the common log of the given number. Okay. So, we have to find the row 40. 40th row we have to highlight. Let's highlight the row here. This is the row 40. Okay. So, the next thing, this, this is the step uh, 1 in finding the logarithm through the log table. Okay. This, uh, in step 2, we have found the row 40. Okay. Then in step 3, you have to find the column in log table. And the column is second column as we have seen in the step 1. Okay. This is the step 3. Okay. Let's highlight the second column here. The second column as it is seen from here is this. This is the second column. Okay. Now, what is the required number? Our required number is this one. That is 6042. Okay. So, the number that we got through the log table is 6042. Okay. 
So what we get is we will write here six zero four two. This is the this is the decimal part of the uh, common logarithm that we found through log table. And what was the uh, integral part, or what was the part one of the log uh, part one that that we have found before is zero. We have to put the point in between. So the, this is the uh, result of the common log of the number 4.02. If you find it through the calculator, you will get the same un same answer. Okay. So this is the answer of what log of 10 4.02. Okay. This is the answer of log of 10 4.042. 0.6042. Here, this is the characteristic that we have found through inspection. Okay. And this is the mantissa. that we have found by using the log table so this is how you can find the uh, uh, the log of the uh, of the co common log of the of any given number by using the table okay let's have a general overview how you can find the log by using the um, log table we have read let's uh, wrap it up step 1 is if you are given with any number first what you have to do you have to round off to four digits as we can find the mantissa i am talking about mantissa okay? for the four significant figures you have to round off then what is the step 2 step 2 is you have the to find the now it's about we are talk, talking about the, how you can find the log by using the table the, the common log of any given number then you have to find the characteristic by inspection okay? what is the step 3 find mantissa from log table okay then what is the step 4 combine characteristic and mantissa okay so these are the easiest four steps that you can uh, use in order to find the log or, or the common log of any number through log table through log table in log table you just need to to go to the to the column or to the rows in order to find the, the logarithm of the number in case you have a number like 133.4 then how you will be able to look it into the log table you can find it by in a way that this is the row this is the column and what is this this is the mean difference column column in case you have four digits for finding the log then you have to to uh, specify them in this way So let's see in a in the uh, log table how you can find the log of such number. It's one three three four. Let's see the thirteenth row in the table. Okay, where is the thirteenth row? This is the thirteenth row. Okay, then where is the third column? This is the third column. Okay, then four mean difference column. Where is the mean difference column? These are the mean difference columns. And are the number of mean difference column in our question is okay. so the four here is this so we will move like this okay what number we have got we have got the 13 number and we have got this 13 number and so this is 1 2 3 9 and this is 13 you have to add them together so it means you have to add the result of this and this value you have to add them together in order to find the log so you have to add them together to get the answer so this was all about how you can find the log of the common log of the number of the any given number by using the log table thank thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you